Hi, I'm Bethany Wallace, Content Manager for College Recruiter. At College Recruiter, we believe every student and recent grad deserves a great career. We create a quality candidate and recruiter experience. Our interactive media solutions connect students and grads to great careers. I'm going to provide you with some tips today about how to make a good impression when you're attending a networking dinner or business dinner. This is a thing that makes a lot of college students and recent grads really nervous, and it should. Um, it's kind of difficult to have that skill set for knowing um, which fork to use first and where to place your napkin and all of those things, and then to put all of those things, skills together with making great conversation with people you've never met or your potential boss or new boss um, can be really threatening. So hopefully after watching this video, you'll feel a little more prepared to tackle that. First tip I'd give you is to skip the alcohol. Um, if you're offered alcohol, you probably should just pass for many, many reasons. And if you read the article that accompanies this video, I'll list all those reasons for you, but don't have time on the video. Let's just say, um, and this is probably the second tip I give you, that do everything in moderation. It's a, it's a great rule of thumb. That goes for alcohol and also food. If you have a buffet line, you don't want to load your plate up and look like you're a total pig. Um, and same thing when ordering. Make sure that you order um, things that aren't the most expensive things on the menu. Um, you also want to just make sure that uh, you don't eat too quickly. You want to make time for conversation. Try not to comment on food if you can help it. That's considered to not be the best etiquette in the world. You want to try to keep conversation focused on business and on um, you know, maybe hobbies or things like that. Um, you can al always, a good rule is to take the lead of like your supervisor or people who are sort of your mentors at the table if they have more experience than you. Um, but keep you, avoiding things like religion and politics are always a good idea as well. Try not to um, be picky. So if you, unless you have a food allergy and you receive some items that will actually cause you to have an allergic reaction, um, then try not to demand that you send your plate back and you know um, cause a big scene because that really says something about you and not something that's very positive. Um, if you have to send your plate back or ask for a different item, then try to pull a server aside discreetly and not make a big deal out about uh, of it. Uh, if you have the opportunity prior to attending a business dinner when it really matters, attend etiquette dinner events on campus. Usually these are hosted by career services experts. And these are just great opportunities for you to learn things like work your way from the outside in with flatware, um, which cup to use, where to place your napkin when you get up from the table, how to pass um, salt and pepper shakers, you know, just really basic things. But if you don't know that there um, are little etiquette rules about how to handle those situations, then you feel so nervous when you go to uh, a business dinner. If you didn't take advantage of those etiquette dinner events, then you can always look that information up online. Um, thank God for the internet. <laughs> uh, so don't get too nervous about it but do some research before you go to your event. Um, and always take the lead of those people at the table who seem to know a little more than you because that will help you. Make sure that you treat servers well because again, that says something about you if you treat people poorly. And oh my goodness, please don't you know be chewing food and speaking at the same time. That is just gross, do not do it. Uh, and then, Probably lastly, I'd say make sure that you say thank you. So say thank you to your host, say thank you to uh, servers, say thank you to your boss or supervisor if he picks up the tab for your dinner. Even if it's a business dinner and you know he's probably writing it off on the company tab, it doesn't matter. You just need to show gratitude and say thank you. Again, that says something about your character. So the, every opportunity 
um, even if it's a small thing that you're doing, remember that that is a reflection of you, either a reflection of your manners or a reflection of a personality trait or a soft skill that you possess. And so you want to just make a good impression. That's, that's what networking dinners, networking events, and business dinners are all about. I hope that these tips have helped you, and you can find more tips at collegerecruiter.com and on our social media sites at Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and on YouTube.